Hey guys, it's Mike from Mike Stickers. So, sorry, I've been gone for a while and let me just explain everything. So, everything's going okay right now. But, um, I've been going through some ups and downs right now. And I've been trying to use this channel to kind of let y'all know about everything that's going on pretty much. So, I don't just want to tell y'all about good. I want to tell you about bad also whenever it happens and just what's going on. So, um, stuff going on with me right now is same sort of stuff that y'all might encounter when y'all are running a business uh, and trying to do this sort of stuff. So I want to just be candid with y'all as much as I can and just tell you about what's going on. So I can't tell you everything I'd like to, but some of the stuff is just too personal. But basically, um, you know, I hadn't posted on here in a while and kind of I'll just pick up at a certain point, you know, I started planning uh, for a trip to go visit my dad up in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, I haven't seen him in a long time and I've never been to Nashville to go see where he lives at so I figured it was time for me to do that and um, so started planning the trip um, we planned it for spring break and so leading up to that I was trying to put away some money I was trying to make as much money as I can and then put away some money for the trip and so anyways um, a few things that have happened so I'm gonna kind of just go over them as it comes up in discussion here so um, one of the things is I didn't I didn't pay all of my state taxes in a timely manner like I should have so I was trying to keep as much money as possible and not have to pay out any bills and stuff so I, I put off a few things uh, just to try to have extra money so that was a mistake we'll circle back around to that one later but um so we went to nashville had a good trip everything was great nashville's cool as you can see tried me some hot chicken while i was there and um we did lots of things saw lots of stuff and we had a good time um on the last day there my dad gave me kind of some bad news it's too personal to talk about here but that news um, is kind of tore me apart on the inside and I uh, I haven't been the same since quite frankly so I've been really really depressed um, I've been having trouble coping with everything in my mind um, just trying to get through and just live a normal life like you know go back to my normal routine you know, first of all, you know, we were gone for, you know, a week on vacation and not doing anything here. I wasn't doing my normal routine. And then, um, and then with the news that my dad gave me that put me in a, in a depressed state, I just wasn't feeling motivated. I wasn't feeling creative. Um, just, I just was not doing good. I just didn't feel like working at all. I had work. I had a, so during the time of taking off for vacation i didn't i closed down the etsy store just put it on vacation so that i didn't get any orders there but then as far as like emails and phone calls i didn't get a single order while i was gone so i was a little bit worried about that but it also worked out good because i didn't want to have orders piling up while i was gone um and but then when i got back into town i was a little worried that i wouldn't have any orders but then they quickly I started getting more orders so all that started picking up um, but I had trouble getting motivated to actually do the orders and so several of them I let linger some of them I even forgot about quite frankly and my mind just is not in the same place that it used to be um, other youtubers that are big youtubers that at this point that's where they recommend one of these sponsored mental health uh, websites or something that's sponsoring them that can help you out wish I had something like that but I don't um, you know I don't have money or insurance for anything like that um, but I'm trying to cope with everything the best that I can so you know I think everything will be just fine but I'm having trouble dealing with things and and getting back like I said to the same mood and the same attitude that I had before um, but the orders have been coming in the last couple of days I've been getting quite a few orders and um, you know, I've just been trying to get back into the to the grind, the daily grind, um, getting the orders knocked out, getting them shipped out, you know, getting getting more mock-ups sent out to people. 
Um, but there's a few things, I guess, uh, you know, that could be takeaways from this video. Um, first of all, uh, well, let me circle back to what I was talking about before. And I'm sorry, I don't script anything. This is all just off the top of my head as I go. Um, so it's like a preview inside my head. But basically, um, I got back into town, checked my mail after I hadn't checked it a couple of weeks. There was an issue before we left town where the post office was holding our mail. And then, of course, we were gone for another week. And so I didn't check the mail for a while. And anyways, I ended up getting a letter uh, from the Texas Comptroller's office saying that they suspended my business permit um, because of failure to pay the taxes in a timely manner. And it wasn't much money that I owed at all. Um, I mean, not at all, it's like laughable. But they don't play around. They don't play around. They want their money and they don't want to wait for it. And so anyways, they sent me that letter, but I did everything I needed to do to pay all that up. Um, contacted them, made sure I'm good to operate. And they said, no problem, now that I paid everything up, I'm fine. Um, so anyways, but don't let that happen to you. Don't make that mistake. I mean, this is my first business. Um, I'm learning as I go and that was a stupid mistake on my part. You know, I was thinking I could set something aside and not worry about it for a little bit, put it on the back burner, but that didn't work out. Um, anyway, so I've been working real late the last few nights, trying to catch up with stuff, trying to get orders fulfilled. And, um, and so anyways, that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to get back into the groove of things. But basically, uh, what, did, what was I going to say? There's another takeaway that I was going to give y'all from all this. Um, basically, you know, things can happen. You can get into a, a, a weird, like, funk and not be in the mood to want to do anything. But you just have to persist and just get through it. Um, you know, what can I say? I've got, um, oh. What I was going to tell you about is I've made a decision, and this is me personally. You know, there's all these people with the equipment that I have that are trying to do. They're trying to find every single product that they can create with this equipment, and they're trying to maximize their service list of what they can provide. And um, I'm trying to, I guess, at this point, do the opposite. So I've got my label machine. I've got my graph tech and my rolling printer. You know, I make stickers, I make labels. I have the ability to do banners, but I've been marketing banners for a little bit, but honestly, I'm gonna stop that. I've been spreading myself a little bit too thin. I like to buy the product in, uh, the, you know, the, the material, I like to buy it in bulk at the, in the highest quantity that I can so that I can get the prices, the prices down as low as I can. Um, and when I buy, the rolls of vinyl, the rolls of laminate, I have to buy my, the, the roll labels for the printer, for the label printer is a big deal because that stuff is expensive. You have to buy it in large quantities and you can't just like say, hey, let me get five of these, five of these, five of these, five of these to equal, you know, a total of 20 rolls or whatever to get your discount. It has to be like, you know, 10 or 20 rolls of each size to be able to get a sizable discount. And so, that stuff is really expensive to stock um, and then the banner material is not cheap there's not a lot of markup I can do on the banner material because quite frankly this machine isn't ideal for that being that the max height is 18 inches um, or 20 inches of material but 18 inches on the print height basically so I'm not gonna offer banners anymore I'm gonna you know, if people really need one and they're a good customer, they're buying other, other stickers and labels from me and stuff, then it's something that I might be willing to do. But I'm going to keep some, you know, maybe material for when I need another banner or two or something. Um, but that's something that I'm going to discontinue. I'm not going to offer that service anymore. I don't think I've taken it off the website yet, but that's the next step. Um, Anyway, so I want to just offer just as minimal services as possible. Um, I just want to be able to repeat the process. I want it to be a 
it, uh, like I said, just something that when the orders come in, it's, it's like I don't even have to think about it. It's just one process I do over and over and over again for every order. Um, the labels are already a little bit daunting because of the whole issue of having to, you know, do the registration and everything and, and get all the margins just perfect. Uh, you know, that that's time consuming. And so it's a lot more setup involved when it comes to doing the, the roll labels. Of course, as they print off, it's a finished product. But like I said, that's just something that I haven't quite got that side of the business going as, as good as I would like. I think that if I could get that side of the business going better, then it could be way more profitable than doing just the stickers alone. Uh, that was the original concept, but it's harder to find those customers. Um, there's, it seems that there's a lot more customers that actually want stickers to promote their business uh, before I kind of looked at it as a needs versus wants and it seemed like people need labels more than you know they you know I mean it's like I said, they have to have labels for certain things if they're selling a product they have to have a label for it but a sticker is more of just a handout or something like that to promote your business it's not necessarily something that someone absolutely needs for a business it's something that they want for a business um, or at least so I thought that. But as time's going on for me personally, I'm getting a lot more business from people that want to have just die cut stickers as opposed to the roll labels. Um, the markup on the roll labels is more, but like I said, it takes a lot of money to stock that material. And it uh, there's so many di different sizes and shapes that originally I was gonna just, you know, any size shape someone wants, I'll order up, and get it in and start stocking that size but that's probably not feasible or at least not at the size that I'm operating at so um, I think I'm gonna stick to just certain sizes for at least right now I just ordered in some big four inch by six inch labels the other day I'm gonna grab them real quick I know you can't really tell here um, just this one roll is pretty heavy. It's pretty hefty because of the width. It's four inches wide. The labels are six inches long. They're basically, you know, rectangle, but they have rounded corners on them. The issue is now though, is that I don't have the blank cores to roll these back onto. And in order to buy those, that's probably gonna be another $60, $70 to get a case of those, maybe $50 at the cheapest. Um, but anyways, it's just having to buy more and more and more stuff just to offer more services and then you're just spreading yourself thinner. So I think I'm just gonna stick to basically like a few different sizes of the roll of the uh, circle labels. I might get some squares, um, rectangle shapes um, and just a few different sizes and just keep some of that stuff in stock. But it's a lot of different material between paper and bop sometimes you want paper to be more uh, cost efficient the bop is more durable and you have to have it if you want it to be waterproof and then um you know there's gloss there's matte you have people that just randomly start wanting different things and so it's a uh, it's a lot more stuff you have to deal with with stocking material for the roll labels when it comes to the graph tech and the rolling it's one type of material that I'm really dealing with. I don't mess around with much else. I, I have clear and matte laminate, but I think everyone wants the matte laminate and it's the overwhelming popular material that I'm not even gonna offer gloss anymore. I used to actually ask people, do you want gloss, do you want matte? I used to wonder if it was gonna be a big deal. Um, people like the matte whenever they see the matte they seem to prefer the matte. If I show it to them next to the glossy, they always choose the matte. But occasionally, occasionally there has been a few people that want gloss. So, you know, I don't know. I might order a roll from time to time, but I'm not gonna order a huge amount of it because it just, it isn't very popular. Um, it also shows imperfections easier. The matte seems to kind of disguise that and um, that was more of a concern earlier on because I was having trouble with the laminator and I was always getting kind of little dust and little hairs and stuff but 
I change some processes. I, I hang up all my sheets. I used to lay them down in spots, like just random spots throughout the, the shop, wherever I had a flat spot, a, a, a empty table, I would lay it out to help, you know, off gas there. But now I hang them on, uh, on, a, on hangers and put them up, you know, on a rod and they don't catch as much lint and dust and little hairs and stuff like that. And so when I go to laminate it, it's a lot cleaner and I don't have to worry about that. But anyways, that's it for now. Talk to y'all later.